Hi guys, my name is Daniel and um, welcome to my most desired video like I've been waiting to actually make the setup for a very very long time I want to be come back in the um, tutorials with notebooks and uh, opening and explaining I had a lot of comments why I did the make why I made those videos in fast forward why I'm not talking in them the thing is if I don't feel like okay this is the minimum amount of equipment to do a video or to explain or have some tools to test and show uh, I don't really want to jump in you know even though even though you have to actually jump in with uh, whatever tools you, you got you, the videos I had previously there was I was just using let me see if I can find it yes the camera that I was using open for years notebooks was a um, icon Coolpix L110 this is the actual camera that I was using even today it's working but apparently I dropped the thing down I dropped the, the camera down and um, now every time I record it makes a line on the actual output of the file whenever you see the video uh, it will uh, it will create a line in the picture. I don't know if I can manage to actually show you. Let's see. Okay, the battery apparently is dead. Okay, not that this configuration is good, but um, the quality of the video and everything depends on the main computer that I'm recording. Even though that's not the problem because the software that it's recording X split you know you can save the presentation come with the new computer or system you install it you load the presentation and you have everything frame everything back together and actually see because this is a first generation i3 you know first generation I don't I think it's got like 4 gig or 2 gig I don't know it's very old okay 4 gig and it's on 32 bits and it w I was actually stupid enough to use it like this you know and it's running only with 3 gig now the main problem with the i3 is that uh, it lags my face yes my face is not that sharp when I'm recording I'm trying to sit near the microphone so you can hear me we put it closer like this yes, but no because I want to open a notebook and I want to show you what I'm doing now the thing is when you record multiple with multiple cameras it tend to lag because of the uh, of the processor and the memory bandwidth that is allocated to every USB to process the data yeah my face the movement the movement in the second and the third camera and on top of that I have that you see that white square apparently it's not a white square because it's a microscope you know and I'm using an amscope amscope microscope and it's shitty like hell because I was expecting something different that's a different story now the thing is I have a microscope it's good I'm using a D I'm using a LED from a camera with a tablet what sort of cockamamie I did here it's a tablet battery that's powering up a LED camera light <laughs> but apparently I, I charged the battery I charged the battery and it was running for uh, like half an hour so I left the battery back to charging and it's running again for 20 minutes half an hour an hour I don't know 
until it discharges the, discharges the battery. Now, basic setup I have. The only thing that I'm interested in now is to actually get something to do, you know. And I do have something to do. And uh, I delayed my friend like for a week. Let me, let me, let me please finish my setup so I can actually do something on uh, under the camera so I can uh, so I can record it and test it now that's it I try to explain what I want to do what I have what I will try to improve now let's get to our little fat problem so I have here I don't know if you can see it. It's a Dell Inspiron 11Z. I'll show you too. See this? Sh okay, this camera is kind of bad because it's not on autofocus. I manually put it there on, and it's not on autofocus. Let me see if I can manage. See, Inspiron 11Z. Yeah, I got no battery on it, so I don't know if it's charging. Though, It does power up, yeah. Okay, let me show you. So it's a crappy Intel Celeron. The only thing I will do to this notebook is to test the memory. That's it, yeah. The memory, and that's it. Okay, it's got window win Windows Vista on it. Oh God! I don't think this notebook can run full HD videos, but he asked me to look at it, yeah. Okay, typical problem on a notebook. The most generic problem on every notebook and computer is, let me show you, nothing. It powers up. Let's see. It powers up yeah, and it's got no display. Yeah. Okay. Let's unplug this. Whew. So how to open a, a Dell like this? The first thing I'm looking at if it's got here I'm pressing and looking for clicks. Clicks, clicks are very important the clicks. Yeah, the clicks. And you can actually see it's got some clicks there. Yeah, some plastic that you can press, and you can lift up the keyboard. I don't, apparently, I don't know. Oh wait, I have a cutter here. I will use this one to try to lift it up. And of course, I'm hoping. Oh wait the biggest and newest thing not to check for screws underneath yeah okay let's take the cover the back off maybe the memory socket is here yeah? oh, right apparently I need to bring it closer so I can actually see it will be very very hard in the future because apparently I just realized I don't have enough space and to make more space and to do half of the table and I need to clean my table and I need to do everything with time please with time all right oh that cable looks so ugly That's it. It's out of reach. Okay, multiple cameras. Apparently, it's a good idea, and I like it. Looks really nice. Yes, excuse me, but I keep looking in the monitor how it looks, and it looks gorgeous. <laughs> okay, that screw almost made me. 
until somebody open it like a monkey so how many screws do we have okay there are two here and if you can see them there are still two more screws here again I'm not trying anything else then just testing some memory put it back and that's it because it's a waste of time and money for everybody so if you have a Dell like this buy so this cover comes out or it's from the top yes it's from the top because the bottom case on this on this it's too big the plastic so it doesn't flip out yes it doesn't flip out like on Sony Vios or Samsung or which model uh, Toshiba apparently from 800 series made it like that so look the cable comes out how nice okay what do we have here it's a flip it's a flip I don't know if you can see it it's a flip you just bang 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 you press it and it comes out it's a very common this is a what the f no this is a boarding board they are very stupid 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 okay got here 2 gig I will, this is the camera that apparently works please focus apparently they don't want to focus okay we have to do manually focus wait which one is this one okay that one we will let it on video control focus shammy nothing this is retarded okay we put the big one this one USB input camera control zoom focus auto let's see if you're able to do the job no useless useless crap let's see this is a crap DDR but apparently it doesn't want to focus we will look into that in the near future why it doesn't want to focus all right apparently try to focus try again nothing I look I manage two gig two gig <laughs> two gig uh, the 666 see DDR2 okay the most important box in a computer technician is the memory and USB stash yes my stash is looks something like this yes I have a tape around it whenever I go somewhere I put the tape and apparently I need to change the tape yeah? but I have here every program operating system memory look we have a DDR3 another DDR3 some wireless connection testing tools testing operating system any operating system USB other operating system a cover that I didn't manage to put it back for one year and a half another DDR3 apparently this is DDR1 DDR3 and I don't have DDR2 flap me balls one DDR one so I don't have DDR <coughs> my last one the last memory that survives in my box apparently let me see yes similar 666 same frequency everything see 
apparently I, I need to renew my stash with a lot of memory I have there some notebooks and apparently I need to take the <coughs> the memory out from them because I keep testing notebooks I keep doing a lot of a lot of stuff you know and I keep forgetting the memory in the notebook display nada so why I don't want to fix this I will show you is that one it's a very 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 bad notebook so I put my memory back and we will test that memory I don't know if you can see it but I will try go away I need to like this I will do like this yes you see the heat sink yeah this on the memory maybe if you manage to focus a little see the memory here this is a board on on another board it's like a freaking socket CPU you can actually detach the CPU the the chipset and the memory socket from the original mainboard it's like two main boards on top of each other you know it's a board and another board on top of that with connection pins and everything no thank you it's like hardcore I would rather buy the whole notebook so put back the memory I don't even want to test it you know the thing is if I take the plastic out I can have access to the BIOS use the scope you know probe around the BIOS maybe the BIOS is not working you can reflash it you know if the CPU doesn't work then there is no data on the memory socket but Intel said around with Vista license no 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 he's a good friend but he knows it's not worth it so he said to take a look at it not to fix it of course I want to fix it if it's worth it you know but that's it mainboard this is a mainboard problem with the CPU that is almost soldered to the board and let's hide my stash again look some old DVR uh, DV9000 and 6000 adapters a BIOS battery <laughs> oh my god put back my my beautiful stash this is 32 those are drivers here every driver possible on this planet I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at it, how many. Uh, well, I have to make one only with memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stopped it, my ass. Stop it, charge my ass. It survived there two years. Do you think it will break? <laughs> no. It doesn't break. If it breaks, I will buy. Uh, find, uh, I'm sorry. I will find another one. <laughs> That's it. For some reason, I bought a Makita exactly for this. You know, I will even show you. I bought it from eBay. Yes, the Makita. Exactly for this problem. Yes, it's very dirty. I don't want to clean it because a dirty Makita shows only one thing yeah a, a dirty one yeah shows you only one thing you're working with it if it's clean you're not doing nothing with it yeah so the set it on, on torque let me see if I set it on, on torque and look very good for notebooks beautiful let me show you what I'm talking about already the screw is broken yeah. 
if you will go inside it will be really good perfect very good keep looking on the camera and it looks really nice please don't judge me I wanted this I wanted this setup for a very very long time okay our speed is in I don't want to see you again bye okay the second notebook that he gave me I want to show you a real a really cool problem you wanna see? I will show you awesome yes so I don't know who was the actual mofo but it smashed the whole back of the Dell it's a big Dell this is the original apparently gave me a spare screen 15.6 LED and this is a beautiful 5513 yes latitude I don't know if you can see it you need to believe me that's it yeah the original smash screen it's inside I already changed the cover it's a sec no, brand new a second you can actually see it here it, it the original one was smashed in pieces but there was a problem that uh, I bought the cables you know for the screen I the everything was broken the LCD cable everything was smashed inside yeah the thing is the LCD connector for some reason it was smashed you can actually see the the screen is in pieces beautiful screen now I change the cover I, I bought a new cable I install everything you know but with the original cable when I power it up the screen became white and I didn't I didn't knew what was going on until I put my hand and placed my hand in the back of the screen where the screen was burning when I took the cable out the cable was shredded almost shredded the corner you know that was the 19 volts 19 volts pins there yeah so I tested back my screen and the screen was fine unfortunately I managed to get away really cheap I bought a new cable and the problem is the cable let me show you the cable that the shitty seller sent me doesn't have the cable for the webcam in the back you know no webcam cable and he said the guy who gave me the notebook to actually look at it and test change everything I brought a new screen for it he said I cannot use it without a web webcam you know so tough luck so I wanted to test it but I will test it tomorrow or in the next week or whatever weeks and whatever days comes and whatever you know if he decides to actually proceed with the notebook this is one problem but I'm wondering why it doesn't do the white white screen yes this is a white screen problem and it's from the cable 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 LCD cable yes if it's not the cable then pff, sorry my language it's your fact you know the main board you need to take the main board out and see what's missing what voltage is missing you know and I maybe you can find the diagram for the notebook but that's it okay 
looking at the microphone it's recording apparently it's blinking that it's got signal thank you for staying thank you for watching this is the first time i'm attempting to record with this setup and i will see you next time with another video bye